A cold midday in London, Tower Hill. The boxer James the Girl calls a press conference. It starts quite promptly. All media had set up and we just waited for an announcement regarding the girl's plans. Eddie Hearn was also talking about his future and about Carl Frosch. A little bit short notice, sorry for the slight delay. Um, the purpose of today is to really keep everyone up to speed with what's happening with the British super middleweight uh, scene with obviously the number one contender in the IBF, James DeGale and Carl Frotch. A lot of you probably would have seen by now this morning that Carl Frotch has officially vacated his IBF title. Um, and the situation now is that James DeGale being the number one challenger will fight the next available contender for the vacant title. That person is Andre Durrell and negotiations have now commenced with Andre Durrell uh, to fight James DeGale for the vacant title. A lot of discussions and I've seen some stuff on Twitter saying um, that's secured for April 25th. Not the case. April 25th is the date that we have uh, booked at the O2 Arena um, for the date we believe that James DeGale will fight for the vacant IBF world title. I think with the support of the British public and, and the crowd revenue at the O2 and also the support of Sky Sports, I don't think there's anybody in um, the rankings uh, that we couldn't get to London for that date. So that's the, the proposed date from us. Negotiations will continue with Al Heyman, with Andre Durrell. That's already started. If it's not Andre Durrell, then they'll continue down the list. If Durrell steps aside or doesn't want the fight, it becomes Gilberto Ramirez and so on. So obviously, uh, James has done a lot of waiting. You know, he, that fantastic performance at Wembley Stadium in front of 80,000 against Brandon Gonzalez. He waited patiently. Then we felt like he needed another fight. That took place in Liverpool against Marco Antonio Paraban. Again, a wonderful performance there. And, and now he's going to get his shot. He's, uh, he's waited patiently, like I said. His performances have got better and better. His profile has continued to rise over the last six months. And now he's really buzzing. And his uh, message to us is, I don't care who it is, just get me anyone for that world title. Um, and now he's going to get it. So, as you know, I'm easy. I'm willing to fight anyone because if boxing for a world title, earthy box is going to be hard. So, uh, yeah, I'm easy, man. I'm easy. But uh, finally, my chance is here. It's here. The next fight, I'll be boxing for the IBF world title. So, uh, yeah, I'm just excited, excited, and uh, I can't wait for it. Obviously, it's come around. People, you know, the obvious sell is history in the making. First UK Olympian, Olympic gold medalist to win a world title. You feel this is just, just part of, of you know, the natural progress for you now. I know it's a huge deal, a huge fight. But uh, massive confidence going into the fight. Massive, massive. Uh, obviously, if it is Durrell, two good southpaws, two probably the best 168 fighters out there, probably, uh, apart from Wall, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the fight. It's going to be going to be tricky, but trust me, I'm making history. The first British Olympic gold medalist to win the world title. Listen, when I turned pro, I was a little bit, in my words, gassed. A little bit, I, got, I was getting carried away with certain things and maybe getting carried away with all the hype and that. But listen, I matured as a fighter and as a person.